what is NOM and why do we want to get rid of it? Uh, welcome to this introduction video about natural organic matter in drinking water treatment. I am Irene Caltran from uh, TU Delft of Technology. This presentation introduces the origin and the characteristics of norm, uh, natural organic matter, NOM, the problems linked to the presence of NOM in drinking water production and different NOM removal techniques. But let's define NOM. Uh, first, we need to know why NOM is present in the water sources. Autochthonous NOM is produced inside the water source by, for instance, algae activity. Alloctonous NOM comes from outside. Hydrological and geological mechanisms allow alloctonous NOM to reach the water source. Effluent organic matter is the NOM that is not removed by uh, wastewater treatment and it is mostly composed by soluble microbial components. Uh, dealing with NOM is quite complex. NOM is not a bulk compound, but it's formed by many fractions that have different characteristics. NOM can be biodegradable or not. The stability of its structure varies according to its degree of hydrophobicity, aromaticity and saturation. NOM can be humic or non-humic. There are fractions that have different charge and size. NOM fractions and their characteristics can be operationally defined by different methods. A very common way to determine the character of NOM in water is using the, its SUVA value. The SUVA value relates the UV absorption with the dissolved organic carbon of a water sample. In water with higher SUVA, NOM is more hydrophobic and aromatic, and with lower SUVA, NOM is more hydrophilic. But why do we want to get rid of NOM during the treatment processes? NOM causes several problems. NOM causes discoloration of the water. Uh, also, NOM causes biological instability and bacteria growth. We can see in, uh, this in uh, drinking water distribution networks. Uh, this is a clean filter, uh, and this is a filter that has been put in a distribution pipe and is now filled. Hydrophilic NOM is mainly responsible for this problem because it is more biodegradable. NOM also influences the removal of other pollutants during treatment. For, for example, uh, NOM competes for absorption surface sites on activated carbon. Uh, this is usually caused by uh, hydrophobic NOM fractions. Different fractions of uh, NOM cause membrane falling uh, moreover, uh, NOM can reduce the efficiency of UV disinfection and NOM particles can shield uh, microorganisms. NOM is also a precursor of uh, disinfection by products. DPPs uh, are formed when NOM reacts with chlorine or other disinfectants. Large hydrophobic NOM is considered the main precursor of DPPs, but uh, hydrophilic NOM can form toxic bromated DBPs. Another issue is the variability of NOM in the water sources, which also creates challenges in how we remove NOM from water. Uh, in the graph uh, of this example, uh, the horizontal axis gives the time, and the vertical axis gives the measured NOM parameters. If we look at the concentration of dissolved organic carbon here in milligram per liter, we see that there are seasonal peaks. Not only the concentration, but also the character of the norm may change seasonally. This is illustrated in the example by the variation of the SUVA value. In northern European sites, variation in norm has been observed in a broader time scale as well. In this example, the norm concentration on the vertical axis uh, seems to increase over the years. Now we want to look at NOM removal treatment steps. We know that in water treatment, the problems are caused by different NOM fractions. With liquid chromatography organic carbon detection, dissolved NOM is divided into fractions according to their size in the vertical axis. As you can see in this picture, fraction can be more or less hydrophobic in the horizontal axis and they have different charge. 
there are different techniques that remove NOM. We will see that each technique has a different NOM target. Coagulation removes hydrophobic carbon and partially humic acid and biopolymers. Ion exchange removes charged particles that are smaller than the fraction targeted by coagulation. Biological mechanisms in managed aquifer recharge change larger hydrophilic norm fraction to smaller, more hydrophobic norm. During ozonation and advanced oxidation, norm becomes smaller and less hydrophobic. Activated carbon uh, adsorbs hydrophobic norm and, when there is biological activity, removes smaller biodegradable norm. The norm removed by membrane filtration is dependent on its pore size. Ultrafiltration removes the larger norm, while nanofiltration can partially remove smaller fraction as well. In this presentation, we introduced NOM in drinking water treatment. We saw that NOM is composed by many fractions that can vary in time and cause different problems. There are several treatment techniques that target specific fraction of NOM. Therefore, to achieve an overall NOM removal, different techniques should be applied for the same raw water. Thank you for your attention.